to infinity and beyond. What's up, everyone? Roger and James here from the Disc Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Pinball FX3, which just launched as a time of recording last night. Um, brand new kind of system where they've upgraded from Pinball 2 and the Zen Pinball platforms at Marvel, and they've updated it, brought in a load of new leaderboards, they've upgraded they the graphics, they've added new challenges, etc. But more importantly for us, um, it means all the Star Wars and Marvel um, can all be brought back over, all the previous purchases can be picked up, they've all been kind of given a little bit of a tweak, given a little bit of an upgrade, um, well, all the challenges uh, and stuff. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, some of them haven't been ported over yet, but no. I expect that the remaining ones will get ported over, yeah. minus any licensing issues. Yeah, um, all the Marvel and Star ones are fine with the, with the licensing. The only ones that were, didn't happen, I think, was the Plants vs. Zombies and a Street Fighter one. There was a few Pacific ones, but all the Disney and Marvel ones, or sorry, Star Wars ones, have come over. Um, you could import them over, which was good. That seemed to work quite well. I will say, however, I did have an issue. For example, Ant-Man was a table that I had. And he did that hasn't transferred over. I don't know. They were having some. They were having some technical issues. Um, I know there was a lot of talk on Twitter from them replying to people. Their website was inundated with people going on there. Um, but they also had some bundles out. They had special Marvel packs, Marvel bundles. Um, quite good. I actually did pick up. I actually downloaded the Star Wars bundle because it was like eighteen pound, and you got twelve of the or 10 or 12 of the classic tables none of which I had so I was like well okay I'm gonna get some use out of this my Star Wars Force Awakens and Rogue Ones has come over I didn't buy the Marvel ones because I brought the physical elite collection that they released and going no I don't need to buy it again I've already got it I, a few of them came over but I've also got a few things like the Family Guy and the Bethesda set so I, I last night I was kinda of going through and having quite a blast going through tons of them going through the demos um, but what did you think of it? I thought they did a really good job with the porting over, and um, the actual import process was definitely broken, and they need to fix that a bit. But it did work after just kind of brute forcing it a little bit. Mm. Once I got past that, though, the experience was great. The The tables look fantastic. They control fantastic. No real changes there, uh, no. which is expected. But I love the additions of... Uh, the challenges and the uh, table upgrades that you can get. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of uh, back and forth on those because on one hand, you know, if I don't have the upgrades and you have, and you do have the upgrades, you have an advantage over me on the leaderboard, but you, I'm going yeah. to... On the other hand, the good hand, you're, you're going, it gives me an incentive to keep coming back mm. and playing these uh, tables over and over again. To, to continue getting upgrades of you, these abilities. You could play single... There was a version of Classic Mode where it didn't include any of the upgrades as well. So right, there is yes. that um, option as well. Um, I think like they've checked... I think like the loading in and loading out, that's all been kind of tidied up. So it looked... I mean, you know, the the original ones coming in looked very crisp and clean. Um, all the challenges were all there. You had to... If you run the demo, you don't get them, but if you have the older tables, you can I find that with the Star Wars ones. Um, yeah, I mean, it just looked... It looked a lot cleaner, a lot a lot brighter. Um, the Coming in and out of the tape... I, I don't know about this woman that kept popping up. That was a girl that was a little bit annoying. Yeah, the thing that annoyed me was she, she popped up every single time I got a table upgrade. Yeah. Uh, every single time. I mean, it's fine if it pops up once and be like, hey, you can upgrade your tables. Cool, yeah. thanks, done. Uh, but <laughs> after every game, it'd be like, hey, you upgraded your bumpers. Hey, you upgraded. I'm like, I see the icon. You don't have to tell me that. Yeah. But I, I suspect that that's kind of a, a glitch. She's not <clears> supposed <throat> to pop up every time, and they'll patch that out. Yeah. I didn't I didn't find that, but I was, I was on PlayStation. I don't know what you were on. Yeah, this was on Xbox One. Yeah, um, I mean, I did find. I mean, it's very noticeable when you're playing like the the very older tables of how much smaller they are. I mean, I fired up the demo of the Ghost Rider one, and you can just you know playing that and then playing Doom next to it. I mean, there was such a difference in the years of you know it's like three times the size. But then Rogue One is not that wasn't that big really compared to the, the Force Awakens. Um, Actually, so, the the Star Wars ones in general are are just on the smaller side. Yeah, uh, which is fine. They're yeah. compact. Yeah, it's in some ways it actually works a little bit. You get a little bit more control over it because you can work out what's going on. Um, what I thought was quite cool is they've even got like a streaming menu. So if you go in there and you turn off like licensed music, 
what it would do is like if you're so if I was streaming it um, it takes out all the licensed music but doesn't take out everything that isn't like and I was like how you're now getting to the point and it's you know got a basis going feel free to you know make videos on YouTube and stuff as you know and if you don't do this you might get um, monetized for sound for example Star Wars music. and I was like wow you've actually gone in and made this menu specifically for this and I thought that's quite good yeah, and given that streaming um, isn't actually make up or doesn't actually make up that large of, a, of the gaming population, despite what you might yeah. think from browsing Twitch or whatever, uh, it's a very n niche menu. Mm -hmm. But I'm really glad they put it in. I hope a lot more developers yeah. include this because it, it's it makes our lives so much better. And then it also says to us, you know, if we want to make videos. Well, I'd, I'm all for playing this game as opposed yeah. to, say, like, Nintendo or, where, Sega. <laughs> or Sega where uh, – or what, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite we were playing the other day. Yeah. And uh, on the PlayStation 4, yeah. it, it's literally like you can't record any of this. I'm like, um, yeah, I'm just going to plug in a capture card and go around yeah. that. But – Nice of you to completely block my ability to do that. Yeah, it's um, yeah. So that's that's. I mean, a little side thing from there. But what I like the idea of this now. Now they've done. The, they've been a bit quiet for this year. They've not. They've not been doing a lot. I mean, they've got the Universal pack out now with Jaws, Back to the Future, and ET. Quick note. I don't know if you noticed if you played the demos. No music. No um, actual proper music in them. It was, did, you, did you try it without the yeah, I tried music tab? Okay. Before I'd even gone in there, it was very. I haven't, I haven't tried them yet, so they were very kind. Of, it was like I was expecting the music, but that wasn't there. I mean, they all look pretty good. Obviously, they're the latest ones. Again, a bit shorter. They've uh, maybe they've decided. Maybe the feedback was that some of the earlier ones, like the Doom and the uh, Fallout ones, were a bit too big, and so they brought them back down. I mean, the, I'll be honest, that Family Guy one, that looks that looks so crisp. It looks so much. I don't know if it did look any better than on than it did on Zen 2, but it, it looked so much nicer. And I think maybe because I've been playing it on the Vita, it, it did look a lot different. Obviously, that's the only disadvantage, but then now I've got my Switch. Who's using a Vita? Well, except you're not using the Switch because this is not on the Switch yet. <laughs> not yet. Although, it, I would be amazed if this wasn't out on the Switch by the end of the year. They... Uh, they did put out a, basically in one of their press releases saying they love Nintendo. They had more products on the Wii U than anybody else, and they want to support. I, it was basically along the lines of they've got to get this, what they're working on, out, and then they will worry about it afterwards. I mean, they did get uh, Infinite Golf onto the Switch, so it's not like they don't like no. the platform. So uh, it's just a matter of time. Plus the. The Pinball FX series is on everything that can play games. You know, the common joke for programmers and, and tech people is, ah, I got Doom running on this microchip on, you know. Yeah. Um, it, Pinball FX is basically the same. They've got it on everything. I mean, I do th I do think this one is focused primarily on console and PC. I think they've, they've, I think they've realized by going so wide, it brought down the, the everything. What I'm really excited about now is now they've got the, the, the platform set. Now this means that they can f almost forget about that now and start working on new tables. Because I want to see some new... I want to see A Last Jedi. I want to see Black Panther. I want to see a Disney some Disney ones. Throw them in there. You know, yeah. It would be nice to sort of see them start releasing some new content. Because, I mean, StarWars.com and Marvel, they were all pushing this content. They weren't just sitting back and going, oh, this is a re-release. They were pushing it. See, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, rather than say like a straight Disney one, if we got a Kingdom Hearts table sometime yeah. next year around the time Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out. And, you know, what, what's fun is we don't know what changes were made under the hood mm. here either. They might have taken the, the uh, Pinball FX2 engine and added in some new hooks to it, yeah. which will allow them to do things on new tables that they couldn't do yeah. on the old table. So... Yeah, right now all the content is the old stuff, and we're not going to see new stuff with that aside from the challenges and upgrades yeah. and whatnot. But once we start seeing proper new tables, you know, whatever the first mm. wave of them is going to be, The Last Jedi, Thor Ragnarok, something like that, there could be some really mm. cool things that we don't even know about yet. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to kind of play through the, the new Universal pack and see what their, their own ones, because they've designed some new tables specifically for FX3. So it'd be nice to see what's going on. But first impressions... Nice big upgrade. This is going to keep me entertained. It's one of those kind of cool games you just fire up for like five, ten minutes and, and just um, play it. 
Yeah, it's great fun. Um, and then two other things, of course, is they do apparently have some cross-platform leaderboards, yeah. uh, possibly tournaments. I haven't figured out how to set it up, but I hope that should be fun. It won't go Xbox to PlayStation, but it will go Xbox to Steam and Steam to PlayStation, but not at the yeah. same time. Yeah. Uh, and then second thing, of course, is that the base game itself is free, and it yeah. does come with uh, Sorcerer's Lair, mm. which is the same one that's been free since yeah. Pinball Ethics 2. So even if you don't own any of the tables, go ahead and download and play Sorcerer's Table, yeah. uh, Sor Sorcerer's Lair, sorry, uh, and give it a try. You might yeah. not want to buy any of the other ones, but you'll still get at least, you know, a decent amount of time for a free game you just get, right there. You do get two minutes of every table available. It's lots, much more locked down. Last time you could kind of say, okay, and carry on without scoring any points. Now it is like, no, you need to buy it. So as they they clamp down a little bit, which I'm fine. I mean, it's like you're giving people a two minute demo. That's that's it's a demo at the end of the day. You're not getting. If they can give you the whole thing for free. Why would you buy it? So, um, yeah, I'm generally I'm quite. Inf I was impressed with it, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming up. Yeah, and you know the the tables are reasonably priced, and they go on sale not frequently, but not infrequently either. They, yeah. I would expect that many of these tables. Um, will be on sale at least before the end of the year. Probably not the Universal Pack because those are the new ones, but the FX2 Packs, the <clears> Star Wars, the Marvel, uh, Family Guy, Epic, Loot, all these ones, I expect there will be a sale between now and the end of the year. These are going to be pretty cool to learn. So anyway, guys, love to know what you guys think of these. Um, obviously, uh, comment in the comments below. You can get in touch with us on all the different social media platforms, etc. James, where can they find you? You can find me heroiclegacy.com. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon. Laters. Later.